How you doing, Visions? What's up, guys? It's Vin. Vicky. And we are VMV Vision. You got those hand signals down? Let's see. Throw those hand signals up one more time. Oh, yeah. I see it right in the camera. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be doing a Try Not to Cry challenge. And this challenge is all about a man cheating on his wife. It's supposed to be a really sad story. So we want to give you guys our reaction on it. And we want to see if we're going to break watching this video. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it'll be good to see. Yeah. So guys, come along, watch it with us, and let's see how this goes. So if you guys are ready, then let's do this. Till death do us part. When I got home that night, as my wife served dinner, I held her hand and said, I got something to tell you. She sat down and ate quietly. I observed the concern in her eyes. Something I didn't know how to open my mouth, but I had to tell her what I was thinking. Or I want a divorce, I said calmly. She didn't seem to be annoyed by my words, but instead asked me softly why. I avoided her question, which only made her angry that night. We didn't talk to each other, and she went to her bed in tears. She wanted to find out what had happened to our marriage, but I could tell that you had an answer. How could I tell my wife of 10 years that I had fallen in love with someone else? With a deep sense of guilt, I drafted a divorce agreement which stated that she could own our house, our car, and 30% of ownership of the company she owned and started, and then joined the business as I felt sorry for her. I was sorry for how she was feeling, but I could not take back what I had said. sitting at the table busy writing something I didn't know what to say so I went straight to bed and sleep. When I woke she was still there at the table writing without answering the questions. I went back to bed quiet but I still had just to be there. In the morning she pursued her divorce application to the court and the divorce by phone. She puts that during the next 30 days that we both work to live as normal as a life for me. The reasons were simple our son had to be parents in a month's time. And she didn't want to disrupt him with the news of a broken marriage. This was a day to me that she had something more. She asked me if I remember our wedding day. She leaned on my chest. I could smell the fragrance of her perfume on her blouse. I realized that I hadn't looked at this woman carefully for a long time. Mm. I realized she was not young anymore. There were fine wrinkles on her face and her hair was beginning to gray. For a moment, I thought about what I had done to her. On the fourth day, when I lifted her up, I felt a sense of intimacy return. This was the woman who had given 10 years of her life to me and a beautiful son. On the fifth and sixth day, I realized that I still loved her. I did not share my thoughts with either Jane or Amy. 
I also noticed that it became easier to carry her as the months slipped by. Perhaps the everyday workout was making me stronger? One morning as we were dressing for work, Amy mentioned that she was struggling with what to wear. She tried on quite a few dresses, but because she had lost weight, nothing fit as it did before. Then it hit me. I suddenly realized that she had grown so thin. That was the reason why I could carry her more easily. A few moments later, our son came into our room and said, Dad, it's time to carry Mom to the door. To him, seeing his father carrying his mother out had become an essential part of his life. My wife gestured to our son to come closer and she hugged him tightly. I turned my face away because I was afraid of the feelings I was having. I then picked her up and carried her through the rooms of our home. Her hands were wrapped gently around my neck, so softly and naturally. I held her body tightly and found myself feeling the way I had felt on our wedding day. On the last day of this month, when I held her in my arms, I could hardly move a step. Her weight loss now made me sad and concerned with me. I held her tightly and said, I'm so sorry. I had jumped out of the car and headed straight to Jane's office. I opened her door and said very clearly, I'm sorry, Jane, but I don't want to divorce my wife anymore. I still love her and I have that I carried her into my home on our wedding day and that I am supposed to hold her until death do us part and that's what I'm going to do. As quickly as I left the office, I merely drove straight to the flower shop. I purchased a bouquet of flowers for my wife. The card read, I'll carry you out every morning till death do us part. Wow. That evening I arrived home, flowers in my hands and a smile on my face. I felt so alive with my renewed love for my wife as I ran upstairs to our bedroom. I found Amy, I found my wife lying in our bed. Dad? My wife had been fighting cancer for months, but I was so busy I didn't even notice. My wife had been fighting cancer for months, but I was so busy with Jane, I didn't even notice. She knew that she would die soon. And oh, that wow. really got me. That was unsuccessful. <sighs> well, wow, that part at the end where she was uh, dying with cancer, where she died of cancer, that really got me, guys. Gosh. So, oh, man. Wow. That was so sad. I failed the challenge, but I don't. I don't care. This was such a sad story. Um, I want to know if this is a true story. Like, I'm sure this is a true story, but I wonder where this story like came from. Who it was? Who these people were? Because man, that was really like upsetting, sad of what happened. But the wife, you know, she still had this unconditional love for her husband. No. Even what he did to her. <sighs> you know, I think, I think that happens a lot. Like, I think, <sighs> you know, problems happen in couples, marriages. And I think as long as you're looking at the other person, like really looking at them, <sighs> then you'll be able to solve your problems. Like the husband said in the video, like he was too busy with this other person, this other woman, to notice what was going on with his wife. Yeah. If it wasn't because they became closer in those mm -hmm. last 30 days, 
where he actually had to carry her and he actually had to look at her, he probably would have not even noticed mm -hmm. that she lost weight, that she looked older, that something was happening with her. Oh man, like I was trying to read like the text. I know some parts I was like, I was off for some of the text, but I was still able to, to, to have a glance at it and man, it was, oh man. I couldn't like compose myself. I, know. I didn't think this was gonna be like this sad of a story, and it really got me good. Mm -hmm. I think it got both of us. It got both of us. It got both of us good. We want to know if it got any of you guys too who um, mm -hmm. saw this video, saw a reaction. We want to know what you guys thought about it, how you guys are feeling, because mm -hmm. oh man, it's oh, man, I can't even talk. I know. Like, even though it's sad, at the same time, I feel like it's a nice story, mm -hmm. you know? Like, it's a good story. It's a lesson. You never know what, you know... It's just the ending, man, you know? The wife dying mm -hmm. from cancer. I know, it's really sad because the husband was, like, convinced trying to, like, recover his marriage. But it was too late. Mm -hmm. It was too late. Yeah. Well, we want to know what you guys thought of the video. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you did uh, enjoy this story or you didn't enjoy this story, uh, let us know. Mm -hmm. And if you did, then please drop a like, subscribe, comment, share. Mm -hmm. uh, press that bell button for more notifications from will be on. Oh man, you guys saw me like break in tears. This was sad. Oh man. We thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you again. See you next time, guys.